I'm Mrs. V, and this is a podcast where I'm going to share with you stories and poems that will help you to know, love, and serve God in this world. Then one day, we shall all meet with Jesus, Our Lady, and all the saints to live forever in heaven. So I'd like to welcome you to Cheerful Chats for Catholic Children. Well, hello, boys and girls. I'm going to read to you today some poems from My Catholic Mother Goose, Volume 1. We will also talk a little bit about each poem. If you have the book, you can read along with me. If not, just look at the pictures here. You can try to memorize these poems because poetry is very good for children. Well, and for adults, too. You see, these rhymes help you to read and memorize. They can help you with rhythm and rhyme, too. And these poems are special because they also help to turn your minds to what is most important in your life, your Catholic faith. So come along with me as we read from Catholic Mother Goose. The first poem is Jack Be Nimble. Do you light the candles at your home when it is time to say the rosary? You might be too little, but maybe when you get older you can. We watch the altar boys light the candles each time Father says Mass, don't we? Candles are special, and they remind us that Jesus is the light of the world. Without him, our lives would be dark. The whole world would be dark, because no one would know the way to heaven. But with Jesus, the light of the world, we do know the way, because he is the way, and we will follow his light each day. Here is the poem, Jack Be Nimble. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack go light the candlestick. It's time to kneel, it's time to pray. We say our rosary every day. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack go light the candlestick. Young altar boy, it's time for mass. Say your Latin, but not too fast. This poem is Tick Tock Goes Grandfather Clock. This poem reminds us that time is going by. Each day we want to do things that will help us to get to heaven. We must not waste our time. We don't want to let one day go by without growing in our faith by saying our prayers, using holy water, and all the other things that will help us to get our reward in heaven. So remember, Don't waste your time. Here is the poem, Tick Tock Goes Grandfather Clock. Tick Tock goes Grandfather Clock, majestic and grand by the wall. Tick Tock, it seems it can talk, winking at me in the hall. Tick Tock, it says to take stock, as time is marching on by. Tick Tock, reminds Grandfather Clock, be ready for when I die. Tick tock goes Grandfather Clock as we get closer to our reward. Before you know it, we'll be there to see Mary and our Lord. This next poem is called Hark Hark, the Dogs Do Bark. This man was poor and the family felt bad for him. They treated him as if he was our Lord. They fed him and therefore they did a corporal work of mercy. The one that says, feed the hungry, give drink to the thirsty. Always be kind to others and go out of your way to help them. God will bless you for doing that. The poem, Hark, Hark, the Dogs Do Park. Hark, hark, the dogs do bark. The poor man is coming to town. We hear him sigh. We see him limp. We see his very sad frown. We sit him down. We give him bread. He's happy now because he's fed. We're happy too because we shared and showed the man that Jesus cares. Simple Brother Joseph. This poem is about a simple man who became a monk. Joseph had a hard time learning. It was hard for him to remember things and he was not very smart. This didn't matter because Joseph loved God very much. 
The abbot, who is the superior of the monastery, saw the goodness of Brother Joseph's heart and put him in charge of all the other monks. He had to give orders to them. The other monks didn't mind because Joseph was humble and had such a good heart. You see how God blessed Joseph, not because how smart he was, but because of his good and pure heart. We must try very hard to have a good and pure heart too, so we can please God in all that we do. Simple Brother Joseph Simple Joseph didn't know much, but he had lots of spunk. Cheerful Joseph loved God so much, he became a monk. In his habit came the abbot, Brother Joseph for to see. He was put in charge of the monks at large. Joseph did it willingly. The monks didn't grumble, for Joseph was humble. There never was a complaint. The place became known for its holiness alone, and Brother Joseph became a saint. Susie and Sally Susie and Sally were very excited because it was the big day of their first Holy Communion. They were all ready with their gowns and their veils. Sure, they were excited about their lovely clothes because they felt like little princesses. But they were much more excited because they were going to receive Jesus for the very first time. Sally and Susie Sally and Susie are two little girls. The alarm clock rang, they were up in a whirl. Susie hugged Sally, she began to say, Oh, Sister Sally, today's the big day. We'll don our gown and put on our veil. Our Lord will receive at the communion rail. Little Jack Horner Uh-oh, Jack had been naughty, and his mother sat him in the corner so he could think about his naughtiness for a bit and how it hurt Jesus. It didn't take Jack long to be sorry for his little sin and run to his mom. His mom told him to say an Ave, and you know what that is, right? It's a Hail Mary. So Jack knelt down and slowly repeated the Hail Mary and asked Our Lady to help him to always be good. Little Jack Horner Little Jack Horner sat in the corner because he'd been naughty that day. He repented his sin, kissed his mum on the chin. For his penance, he said an ave. Diddle dee, diddle dee, dapple dee. Sue was a good girl and did her spiritual reading each day. She also made visits to the chapel when she could. She was a happy girl because she put God first in her life. Diddle dee, diddle dee, dapple dee. Diddle dee, diddle dee, dapple dee. Sue sitting under the apple tree, reading her missal on St. Paul's epistle, diddle dee diddle dee dapple dee. Diddle dee diddle dee dapple dee. Sue went to visit the chapel with me. We said a small prayer, strolled home without care, diddle dee diddle dee dapple dee. Thank you for tuning in today to Cheerful Chats for Catholic Children. I hope you will work very hard at being the best Catholic boy and girl that you can be today. Ask Our Lady and your guardian angel to help you. Indeed they will. God bless you from Mrs. V.